What's going on today, guys? I want to go over the four biggest reasons why you're poor. Don't take offense at a video, but I know this video will do well. So like, comment, subscribe. Let's get right into it. Number one reason why you are not making a lot of money is you don't have a high income skill. You are trading your time for money. You probably heard other people talk about this and it's all cliche shit, but just to really break this down, like if you have a job, you're not making more than 20 an hour. If you're a contractor who has a very high income skill, anything that's high income, if you just do like one to three jobs a month should make you about 10,000 a month. It's like a high income skill, right? And that would require you to have like three clients at 10,000 a month, 9,000 a month, something close to that, right? Because the average income in America right now is like 41 or whatever it is, like 42K. Having like an actual like high income skill, working for somebody else who is like a big entrepreneur. Graphic design's a high income skill, but you gotta build a ton of reputation to charge that amount of money. Some big high income skills for you is like copywriting, advertising like myself, like running ads for companies and getting them more lead sales book calls, whatever the case may be. As far as copy, like writing landing pages that sell. Three is coaches, coaching people on mindset, coaching people on marriages. Like you can coach somebody on anything, you know, health and wellness, fitness coaches, stuff that's very high ticket. People want to pay a lot of money for. Right now, if you're like working a job or you're in college, you need to learn a high income skill. And the way you do so is by paying for a mentor, buying programs, saturating yourself in the niche. Don't just depend on the fact that you're just gonna figure it out and learn it. You need to actually like do something about it. High income skills are huge. You need to learn one. It's also sales. You can get into sales. That's an easy way to make 10K a month or more. Most of my sales guys do very well. Second reason why is because you have a bad belief around money. You actually will sit there and you say, hey, I wanna make more money, but you're not actually ready to receive more money. You have a you have a limiting belief that if you're making more money is gonna make your family look at you differently or your friends are gonna leave you or you're gonna look like an egotistical fuck if you make more money, which is to small-minded people, you're you're gonna look like an asshole. Start making more money. Your friends who aren't making money, they're gonna think that you think that you're too good for them or you're too ahead. They can't hang out with you anymore. They don't have that ambiance to deal with you, right? And also like the way that your parents brought you up. Do you have a bad belief around money because your parents didn't make a lot of money? Your parents complained about bills, could barely afford a new pair of Nikes for you. Like what are these bad limiting beliefs that you have around money that came from a very young age? Number three is you just don't have discipline. To be honest, most of you are just not where you wanna be because you're just lazy as fuck. You can't sit still for 30 minutes and and learn something or you just don't have the discipline to sit down and realize that what you're doing is good for you. It's just really sad. I see a lot of people who are like really smart individuals, people who have a good intellect, but they just fail with discipline. They have a lot of distractions. And that's what brings me to number four, which is the whole environment thing. You don't have a good environment. You have no reason to be inspired to make more money. And that's why you stay poor. You stay in the same house, same city, fuck with the same people, drive on the same roads every day. You have no reason to make more money. That's why I go to the Ritz every single week because I like going there and talking to people who actually, you know, making more than I am. Sometimes I make more money than they do and they're older, but it's still things that you could take from people like small tips here and there. You need to get around environments that are exciting too. Those environments that people make more money than you are are all gonna branch your curiosity to learn shit, to, to be inspired to do things. Number five is you just have a lot of hatred towards people who make money. You're so wrapped up in this person making more money than you are, or is this person doing something that's like legitimate? There's so many people that will go on my social media and be like, what you're doing is not true. Like you're lying, your cars are rented. I'm like, dude, I can't rent cars and put the amount of miles that I put on these cars. It's just crazy me how people have all that hatred towards money and then they think that what you're doing is fake. They just have a bad belief about money. They think that because you're young or you're trying to achieve something great that you have to be downgraded to like where their level is. You have to balance out the balance beam. And those five things alone are the reasons why you're poor. You need to support people. You need to be excited about what people are doing. You need to be nice. You have to have empathy, kindness, and you have to have the discipline to, to put your feet in the dirt and do work. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.